here. That was the Piper's route. So now we're going back. Piper, and then we're going to come here. Are you ready and... to do our next Choose Your Fighter? Oh, wait. Shit. I didn't even know it's called Choose Your Fighter. That's cute. Yeah. I, no, I really appreciate it. Yes. Okay. Who are we going to date now? Okay. Okay. Um, do if we're going in reverse order. Yeah, reverse order from your favorite. We just did Piper. I want to... I want to just, stress just change that your... everybody's my favorite. Yeah, but so <laughs> if I have to rank them, it's Ezra. <laughs> I have someone who could show me around. Very well. Just remember that all eyes are on you. When I step in the room. And don't forget to change. And all eyes are on you when you step into the room, just like a circus. <laughs> Please do that one more time for me because I wasn't prepared <laughs> and I did I was like listing good enough and I need no, to I really can't. really I need I to store that away. I think, <laughs> like I think I would laugh if I tried to do it again. <laughs> it's a one one it's a one time only thing. You'll just have to go back and listen to the recording. All eyes on you when you step into the room. Just, just like, like a, a circus. circus. <laughs> just like a circus. <laughs> That was not funny enough for us to be laughing like this. In the center of the ring, just, just like a like circus. A circus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, August, so <laughs> August's voice, but quoting the entirety of Circus by Britney Spears. <laughs> when I crack that whip, Sorry, everybody gone trip, just <laughs> like a circus. <laughs> Uh, August is Britney Spears. No, August is Britney Spears. Are you fucking kidding me? August is fantasy. Br August Britney is fantasy Spears. Britney Spears. I'm S Lunaris Games. I'm so sorry. Please don't watch this. <laughs> if you're watching this, don't. <laughs> if you're watching this, don't is basically the motto of my life. But also, I am going to tweet this at them incessantly until they watch it. It's very, very important to me that they watch it. Yeah. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> yes, General. I understand that I'm in the center of the circus. Good evening, Hunter. Bye, Brittany, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just realized they're wearing thigh-high boots. They are Did wearing... you see that? Oh, they always wear thigh-high wearing... boots. They, 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 they are wearing thigh-high... Did you see that they had buckles all up the front? Oof. Sarah, it's canon. If you do their route, it it's... comes into play. I... Ooh, really? Okay. Well, I'm just saying this is the first time I've noticed it, and I love that. Mm -hmm. They took on an expensive looking fur coat and head out into the chill. Of course they do. I looked down at my outfit, sighing as I resigned myself to the fact that I probably should change. I am upset that there's not at least some little blurb describing what I'm wearing. I want to know. No, it's so that you can I make it I'm all heading to Ezra's... That's true. I think I'm heading to Ezra's shop to find hey, him, hoping he'll be happy. Huh? I said, hey, Brooms. Oh, Brooms. Hoping he'll be happy to be my guide for the evening. I like to imagine that the outfit I put on is much worse than the one I had on before. <laughs> the lantern... <laughs> the lantern outside isn't a light when I round the corner, but I decide to knock and double-check to see if he's home. As I raise my fist to the wood, a soft gust of wind startles me. Am I scared of the wind? I turn to find a familiar figure waiting for me down on the street, a friendly smile on his face. Hey! Oh! <laughs> I like that. Look at that nice, nice Finn coat. Will, I think every time Finn changes clothes, the neckline just gets deeper. Yeah, Finn is like, eventually Finn's just gonna wear pants and nothing else. And shoulder pads. Yeah. Absolutely, there are shoulder pads in there. Absolutely. Like an 80s queen. He's on his way to the market. Oh, that's your line. <laughs> what kind of voice do you want? I can't remember. I can't remember what Finn- I don't know if- I think Finn's voice was just like, like, kind of British. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I remember now, yeah. He's on his way to the market. Why is my nose Okay. Hello to you too, Finn. How are you feeling? Oh yeah, Finn's- Finn and Ezra are the only ones who know what's up. You look stiff and- do you want to take your, uh, shoulder pads out, dude? He pauses, brow furrowing slightly. I was worried, worried about you after that. I smile as Give I step back Give me one second, I have to street. go blow my nose. 
Yeah, hit it. Actually, if you're gonna do something, then I'm gonna do something too. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, pause. Okay, I'm back if you are. Okay, awesome. Okay, cool. Huge gap for you to edit out there. It'll be fun for you. Oh, it'll be fine. You wanna click return? Oh, it's return, not history. Sorry, I also poured myself water. I smile okay. as I step back onto the street. I'm fine, if not a little shaken. I'll be okay, though. I'm glad. It's the only one with a hairy chest. You might catch Ezra if you hurry. I was just heading to the festival myself, actually. I love how, assuming that there's a formula here, every date starts with a mini date where you walk with somebody else to the festival. Mm -hmm. You enjoy the festival? I do, especially when Alcar decides to attend. Okay. <laughs> he tends to cause worried. trouble. I'm worried. I like trouble. Alcar is a bicycle. <laughs> I laugh. Alcar Google. really is a bicycle. Yeah. <laughs> it's also why it reminds. Well, no, wait, that was Ezra the Run Me You song. Never mind. I laugh <laughs> at his wicked grin, following as he turns to head towards the market. Come on, I'll walk you. Let's go. Finn bids me farewell at the entrance, eagerly running off and disappearing into the dense crowd in his search for entertainment. He told me I'd likely find Ezra reveling in discounted goods, so I head towards the stalls that appear to be selling herbs, spices, and other ingredients that may be handy to a local witch. I spot a shock of white hair, and Ezra turns to face me as I call his name. Yay! Oh! Oh, oh that's you. Sarah. Sorry. I've already gone over your outfit, but I love it. I didn't expect to see you standing there. There. He tucks a neatly wrapped bundle of what looks like skeletal touch-me-nots into the pouch upon his belt. The petals withered and forming the shape of a sinister, smiling skull when they're, where they curl. You don't have to hide your weird stuff from me, dude. I know you're a witch. It's okay. I'm into it. I raise an inquisitive brow at him. He rolls his eyes playfully, tipping his head for me to follow him as he heads to the next stall. I do not buy them for the reason you think. They're for medicinal purposes, not hallucinogenic ones. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I gotcha. He's I a dispensary. I think it's basically weed. It's weed, yeah, he's a dispensary. I can't believe Ezra's a weed dealer. <laughs> Ezra's a weed dealer. Ezra, how much for a gram, bud? I think that's the lingo. I've never bought weed. <laughs> 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 We're gonna ignore that. <laughs> we want... <laughs> Bro, how much for a marijuana? Hello? <laughs> Hi, I would like to purchase a single marijuana. How much is that? We wander from stall to stall. Ezra apparently quite happy for me to stay in his company, and I enjoy watching while he takes full advantage of the unusual wares. He barters with a particularly stubborn herbalist over the price of her angelica root. He walks away with a scowl on his face, but his expression brightens, and the wink he offers me tells me he got a good deal. They always fall for that one. He just like flipped his hair and kind of like acted Oh, like shy. the beaver flip. Yeah, 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 beaver flip. You appear to be quite good at this. A shrug, but he's clearly pleased with himself. Running the business by yourself is difficult. You have to be smart. Our little entrepreneur. Oh, that reminds me. I need to pick up a new spell book. I filled up the last one. Wow, actually writes in the notebooks he buys. We stan. <laughs> yeah. Help me find one? There is a great craft stall that Finn showed me a while back. Pick it out. Of course. We find the stall and peruse the goods. His eyes light up when he spots a forest green, leather-bound book full of to the brim with thick parchment. It's as if it was made just for him, and he eagerly passes over his coin to the vendor. I go through these quickly. I tend to be a bit of a scribbler. Do you use them purely for spells? Do you have a diary? May I read it? I can already read Omen's diary. He shakes his head. As I specialize in healing, I like to get lost in a good medical journey every now and then. <laughs> it might not be conventional for a witch to study such things, but I find it helps me really understand what kind of healing spells I need to develop. I told you you'd be a science geek trying to go to med school. What made you choose healing as your specialty? A sad look crosses his face. Well, my dad was killed when I was quite young. 
Oh. Okay. Sorry I asked. My magic had manifested by then, but I was completely helpless. He takes a deep breath, his eyes shining. From that day, I promised myself that if anyone I loved was ever in danger, that I would be able to help them. I haven't broken that promise yet, just yet, and hopefully I never will. I personally will try really hard not to die. <laughs> Sorry, you just had to for you. That. Just for you. Specifically because you told me this. Before this, I was kind of on the fence. But now, <laughs> he smiles, and I'm impressed with how strong he is. Thank you. I beat myself up over it for a long time, but I turned my pain into something that can help others. It's what my father would have wanted. He was such a kind man, so I do it for him. You already know. <laughs> we are going to flirt. I tentatively reach out, placing my hand upon his arm. You're amazing, Ezra. I admire you. Move. I'm walking around giving everybody the exact same lines. That means a lot coming from someone like you. Mm. You're so brave to do what you do. I smile, and he gratefully leans into my touch, reaching up to place his hand upon my own. Ooh. He's warm, even in the freezing cold, and somehow I'm not surprised. We're both saving the world then, right? Yes, we are. But really, but really, thank you. I'm so lucky to be surrounded by such wonderful people. Yeah. I reluctantly remove my hand, as we're dropping his gaze as I do so. Long, dark lashes kissing the top of his freckled cheeks. He shivers, rubbing his hands together. It's freezing. How about we go and get a nice hot drink, and you can tell me about that headache of yours. Sounds good. I would love for somebody to listen to my problems. <laughs> we, order two <laughs> we order two steaming cups of hot chocolate, taking a seat on a pile of colorful, mismatched cushions that the vendor had kindly laid out. Ezra hums, content as he inhales the sweet scent, the drink topped with a generous heap of whipped cream and marshmallows. We sit in comfortable silence for some time, watching people passing by, laughing at the sight of a fast-moving Algar being hailed <laughs> by Piper. I love that. I dread to think what he's getting up to. Now, tell me how you've been feeling since that. Period. He looks at me expectantly, worry shining in his gaze. I'm okay, apart from the fact that I slept all day and missed a meeting with Harry. I think August wants me dead. <laughs> I'm sure they don't. You'd certainly know about it if they did. I, mm. Trust me. Mm. We both laugh, but I don't doubt that he's telling the truth. We finish our drinks, missing their warmth the second our cups are discarded. Ezra suggests finding something to do that might warm us up, so we head in the direction of the music we hear coming from the other side of the market. Oh boy, we're gonna dance. Oh boy. I spot an unmistakable figure as we draw near, and I see Ezra visibly deflate as August turns and spots us, their dramatic eye roll unmissable. Do you mind? Oh! <laughs> you were right! Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's it's a very really Grandma good. It's Me Anastasia coat. It's a very Grandma It's Me Anastasia coat. It's very good. <laughs> I love it. I'm obsessed with it. No buttons. Gotta leave the chest open. August clutches a glass of mulled wine like it's a lifeline, sighing as we come to... August is like, I'm not drunk enough for this. I know. It's like, why? why? Look at him. Look at him. This is a cherub. Why do you hate this person? I guess I'll find out eventually, but... Ezra, Sarah, I trust that you're enjoying the festival? Yep. Ezra clears his throat, looking up at those ice-blue eyes. Yes, we are. How about you, Gus? I still can't get over the fact that, like, they hate him, but <laughs> he still calls them Gus. That wine looks delicious. And they both love wine. There's also that. They have stuff in common. They tilt their cup, studying the dark red liquid, a stick of cinnamon added for decoration. Oh, cute. Yes. Well, wouldn't be the Lunar Festival without copious amounts of alcohol to pass the time, would it? You're right about that. Ezra smiles politely, but I can tell he feels a little uncomfortable. It's been nice seeing you. We'd better get going. Yeah, we had better get going. He looks at me, requesting backup. Yes, we're off. 
somewhere. I'm a terrible liar, and I hate that for me. Well, enjoy that, wherever it may be. Farewell. Bye. Please get lost. Okay. <laughs> get lost, I guess. <laughs> Please go away. You're making a Stop cock blocking. We continue, <laughs> we continue onward in silence, Ezra seeming a little deflated after our brief encounter with the Enforcer General. This new area of the market is much brighter, and there appears to be a lot more people gathered here than anywhere else. Ezra tips his head, gesturing for me to follow him to a calmer corner. Are you okay? You seem quiet all of a sudden. Sorry. I'm fine. I just... I find it hard seeing Gus. Hurts your neck to look up at him. I, I get it. They make it hard. The heels, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do really want to know. Like, I don't want to make it uncomfortable, but, like, I do really want to know. You know you can talk about it with me if something's troubling you, right? He sighs. I know we've known each other three days, but, like... But you can tell me anything. I already told you I loved you, I think. He <laughs> sighs, fiddling with the hem of his coat, avoiding meeting my gaze. I wouldn't know where to begin, but thank you. I've known Gus since I was very young, and our friendship was never easy. They seem... complicated. Ezra nods once, worrying his bottom lip between his teeth. They didn't have much of a support system when they were growing up, and I think... Well, I think they envied me. Hmm. He scoffs, rolling his eyes. It sounds so silly saying it out loud. Well, you got to skip a bunch of grades, and they didn't, so... <laughs> have you ever spoken to them about it? He shakes his head. I'm sure they'll come to me when they're ready. <sighs> Giving us space is important. That much I know. If you ever need help or just a friendly ear, I'm here. I appreciate it. Gus is a good person. One of the best. Don't let our issues put you off them. That's like, you're a good person to say something like that. Like, I know I hate this person, but like, they're cool. Don't, don't let me... Like, cloud your judgment. I like that about you as Like, well. mood. Like, I, I, I envy that level of maturity. I know. He clears his throat, bright eyes darting around the market. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I heard a rumor that there might be a band playing somewhere around here. Oh, here, look. Ezra points behind me, and sure enough, we spot a band setting up near the trinket stands. They start playing, a gaggle of people eagerly crowding towards them to dance. Well? I would love to dance. Ezra steps close, offering me his hand with a cheeky wink. Yes! Can I have this dance, Fair Hunter? You already know. You know! Yes! I bow, giving it all the cheese I've got. I accept your offer. Uh, ooh, it's a great Would you question. like to lead, or would you like to let Ezra lead? This is a great question. This is a great question. Oh, this is a great question. You know what, Ezra? I feel like you lead a little too often. Why don't you let somebody else take the reins for a while, buddy? Mm. I grab his hand, placing it in mine. Sorry, Mr. Leon. Is it Lion or Leon? I don't know. Sorry, Mr. Leon, but I will take the lead if you don't mind. Oh, <laughs> oh. <really? laughs> That blush, though. I pull him close, my other hand at his waist that's okay with you, of course. More than okay, Hunter Robin. These euphemisms, though. We fit together perfectly. Fingers intertwined. Entwined. His other hand at my shoulder. The music is cheerful, fast, and we spin and step in time with the beat. His laughter is magical, enthralling, and I catch myself staring one too many times. He looks up at me with those emerald eyes, bodies pressed close, and I find myself forgetting my name. I'd like yeah. to specify up. Well, actually, I think you, you're you about the same height as Ezra. So that checks. But he, looks, he looks up at me. Well, maybe you're wearing heels. Or maybe you're just wearing maybe platforms. Wearing... Well, maybe there's just a slight heel to your boot. Transfixed. The song comes to an end. A rather dramatic finish, granting me the opportunity to close off the dance with an impressive dip. I love that. I love that for me. I love that I got to dip Ezra. I love that for me. I love it so much. <laughs> he holds me a little tighter, a charming squeal falling from his lips as I fling him backwards, holding him steady. Oh! 
I pull him upright, gathering my wits as I release him, missing the contact. That was so cute! Oh my goodness, that was amazing. I dipped him and he squealed. That's adorable. I'm obsessed with that. I'll be thinking about that for the rest of my life. <laughs> crowd claps and I barely and I'd barely even notice that most of them had stopped to watch us too lost in Ezra to care it's embarrassing and I love that you're quite a dancer Sarah I'm impressed in the distance we hear the loud boom of fireworks and Ezra grabs my wrist quickly we'll miss them they're f they're fireworks y'all like we'll be able to see them they're in the air we make a break for it dashing through the crowds until we reach the docks I guess it is nicer to watch it up the talks, but still. We skid to a stop at the edge of the crowd, both of us breath breathless and laughing, our cheeks bright red. You already know. <laughs> okay, Ezra keeps his careful grip on my wrist, and I do not move away. We both look skyward, the colors creating stunning patterns as they burst against an endless backdrop of shimmering stars. I find myself wanting to take in another sight, though. Yep. I can't believe we got cock blocked by I know, the Google Chrome awesome. share. Ezra. He looks so beautiful bathed in the shining light. His smile wide, brighter than any firework. Thank you for tonight, Ezra. He turns to face me, eyes wide as he fixes my gaze. I feel his hand shifting downward from my wrist to my palm, fingertips feather light against my skin. I enjoyed myself so much. His voice is quiet, but I can hear him clearly as the fireworks end. As the crowd cheers, I feel myself leaning closer to him almost unconsciously. He smiles as I draw nearer. Then, a terrible and blood-curdling scream rings out somewhere in the distance. That sucks for me that there was a big old scream and I can't kiss Ezra. How do I get out of here? There we go. Well, that was fun. I liked that one. I feel like that mm -hmm. one was shorter than the other one, though. Maybe? It's, it felt shorter. Um, wait, is that the time right there? Like, 23... Oh, That's 3, 20, the, time of, the time that it is oh, like, where I, I am right now. So, okay, it was about... Thir almost, not quite 30 minutes between... Start between finishing Piper and finishing this one. But mm, okay. we did Piper's was about 40 minutes, I think. Okay. I yeah, think we I just went like a little there was, slower. There was much more talking. Oh, yeah, we had a lot of time. We had a lot of good jokes in the Piper.